Adora and Wodo is many things. Unknowingly, I was building like a brand, a digital creator kind of brand. Adora Hack has a blog, Adora Hack has a YouTube channel. My seller store is called Adora Hack. If you try something and it doesn't work out, you've learned a new way not to do that thing. The truth is, as a creator, you are serving your community. Whatever content or whatever thing you create, you are not creating it for yourself. If there's anything that you want to do, stand up and go and do it. I see failure as a motivation and I would advise you to do the same. We're creators, so we constantly think of things and we go create them. So. Hi, my name is Adora and this is my creator story. Adora and Wodo is many things. For starters, I'm a software engineer currently building mixed reality on the cloud at Microsoft. I am also a multi-published author. I have two and a half books. People say it's three, but the reason I say the other one is half is because I don't, I personally don't think it's a book, but everyone's like, you wrote a book, acknowledge and call it a book. I'm like, okay, fine, half book, that's fine. So I have two and a half books. I'm also the founder of Nexa Scale. It's a non-profit that is supposed to help people like start and scale their tech careers. I'm involved in like seven billion other tech communities. I am a DJ, I am a digital creator, I am a YouTuber. Well, digital creator, YouTuber, everything together. So yeah, Instagram, YouTube, I write articles, all of that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, ask my parents. I guess they, they are in a better position to answer this question. To me, it's about thinking about something and just creating it, if that makes sense. I know that I, it was creative when I said creating, but I couldn't think of any other word to use. But having an idea and being able to bring that to life, whether physically, like a physical thing that you make, or digitally like oh you make a video or you make a course or an ebook or something or you make a movie but like having an idea and turning that idea into like a real thing that people can interact with is what i would consider a creative to be i've always wanted to share things i've always been funny story i've always been a teacher even when i was in like secondary school primary school i used to be that student that everyone would surround just so that i could teach them math being that person in secondary school being that person in uni as well and just coming out into the real world and knowing that you don't have like a bunch of your classmates to teach things anymore so now it's like okay let's go teach people on the internet initially the first YouTube video I made around the time I started making YouTube videos was around the time I started public speaking. It was actually to position myself and force myself to do the uncomfortable, which was speaking to strangers because I was very shy. I couldn't speak in public without getting cold feet and running away and crying. So initially that was the plan, you know, just to get myself comfortable to speak to strangers. So I started a YouTube channel and I started making videos around, you know, that time. And unknowingly, I was building like a brand, you know, like a digital creator kind of brand and I didn't realize. But then it got to a point where I actually now started like wanting to teach people stuff. Again, teach people about tech, software engineering, Android development at that time. And yeah, so I started like writing. So I started after my YouTube channel. The next thing I did was that I started writing. I had a blog at the time, so I was writing there. And over time, it morphed into other things. I wrote my first book. I created like three different courses. I just wrote a second book and half book. Um, so it started from YouTube, then I started writing, and then I've been doing like other different things ever since then. And I don't plan to stop anytime soon, so. Hey creators, making money from your digital products and freelancing is one thing. Investing that money wisely is another thing. If you're looking for a platform you can use to invest your money wisely, save in a stable currency, and build wealth, I'm happy to introduce to you RiseVest. With RiseVest, you can invest in global stocks, real estate, and fixed income bonds. Start investing and building wealth from the comfort of your home today. What's more, 
the first 100 creators who sign up on RiseVest with this coupon code get a $10 bonus when you fund your RiseVest account. Quickly go to www.risevest.com to learn more or download the app on Google Play or your Apple App Store. I've always wanted to play with computers. I think, I think the reason I'm in software engineering was because that was like the first thing I was introduced to or the first thing I found when I started loving computers that seemed like a possible career path. So I started playing with computers at like six and I found this rabbit hole, which was the internet. And I went further down into the rabbit hole and I found programming. So I started programming with Visual Basic when I was like nine or so, like, you know, late primary school, early secondary school. Around that time, I would use my coding skills to validate my math assignment. So when you give me math assignments and I get the formula right, I'll go like put it in code and check that every single thing, every single math question I solved, the answer is correct. And because that was like, apart from, you know, discovering music and social media that I was already doing on the internet, that was like the first, I don't want to say real thing, you know, that I stumbled on when I started using computers. And I just started calling myself a programmer at that point. And I used to say that, oh, I'm going to be a programmer when I grow up and I'm going to like work with computers. And it was so bad. I didn't even know what computer science was because I have a computer science degree, but I knew like I knew my name that I wanted to be a programmer even in SS3 like so when it was time to choose my school and choose my course I wanted to study math and then go to one of all these random programming schools and learn to code because I always wanted to learn to code it's been a thing since I can remember like myself using computers so Adora Hack is like my content creation brand right so adora hack has a blog adora hack has a youtube channel my seller store is called adora hack my instagram is called adora hack so that's just like a collection of all my digital creations so things that i create either just for fun because i mean why not or for educational purposes goes there and then nexa scale is something that i recently created because I've noticed a big problem in the tech ecosystem that I think I want to contribute to solving. I know that I cannot solve the entire problem, but let's start somewhere. I've met a lot of people that have gotten boot camps from different places. You'd see someone have like six certificates for different things and they're still roaming around looking for more certificates and they're still looking for opportunities. And this has made me realize that Apart from the digital skills that we're teaching people and empowering them with, you know, what they need to get, come into tech, we need to create opportunities for them as well. Job opportunities, internship opportunities, other kinds of contribution opportunities, you know, pro project-based, program-based opportunities for them to actually, like, start their careers because now they've learned, they've learned what they need to do to start, but now let's push them to start. So I decided to like form a team and we came together and we created Nexa Scale. And the goal is we're creating different programs that allow people to start their careers, um, finding and plugging people to job opportunities, creating other kinds of contribution opportunities, whether it's through open source, through projects that we create and have them, you know, participate in so that they can have those things and put it in their resume and they look more hireable. So if you go through this, it's either you get a job directly or you get more projects that help your resume look better and that can now help you when you're now applying for your own job on your own because everybody is looking for someone that has experience and everybody needs to have experience to you know be approached in the first place so it's like a chicken egg situation but we want to try and see if we can do something about it I don't. <laughs> That's the short answer. I, I don't balance it. And I don't balance it because I have a full team of human beings, 
Like, what I mean is, if it was left to just me, <laughs> you wouldn't be seeing me sitting here right now. Um, so, I have access to different people. I have a team of volunteers that help like run the different communities. I have an assistant that just is in charge of making sure that my life is actually running. And then I still live with my parents. So I have access to home staff, drivers. I'm not stressing myself doing things that I shouldn't ordinarily be doing. Um, so I mostly focus on things that require me things that require my skill set. And then sometimes when I'm tired, cause you will get tired sometimes to be honest, I just block everybody and sleep. And then I come back and it's like, okay, it's time to go again. Being a creator is a lot. We understand the effort you put in to your creative work, always showing up and delivering value. We see you. As a creator, we know you need to be supported. And that's why Show Love by Sella was created just for you. Show Love enables you to easily accept tips and donations from your supporters and fans all over the world. With Show Love, your fans, community, audience, and followers can now reward you for all the hard work you put in. What's more, you can receive these tips and donations from anyone, anywhere in the world. To get started, all you have to do is go to www.sela.co slash showlove filling your details and in less than five minutes you can set up your show love page and start accepting tips it's as easy as abc so what are you waiting for over 10,000 creators are using show love and you should be one of them so when you think of businesses they have customers, they have clients, they are serving those clients. The truth is, as a creator, you are serving your community because whatever content or whatever thing you create, um, you are not going to, you are not creating it for yourself. Of course, you're creating it for yourself because, you know, it's nice for your self-confidence. Sometimes you would also even go back to that content that you created. Like there was a time that I, I wrote an article a year later, I was having the same problem. I googled it and it was my article that came up first and I was like, wow. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you might be indirectly creating that for yourself as well. But the truth is, you, your community is like the people that would, you know, take, that would absorb that content that you put out. So community is very important to different creators. You want to make sure that you are constantly engaging your community on whatever platforms that you engage them on and um yeah you're engaging them you're interacting with them because like businesses need customers businesses need clients creators need their communities to thrive in my opinion um i'll give the same advice i give to anybody in this life which is, if there's anything that you want to do, stand up and go and do it. Um, I see failure as a motivation and I would advise you to do the same because you have everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose. If you try something and it doesn't work out, you've learned a new way not to do that thing. If you try something and it works out, congratulations to you, you've done amazing. Either way, there's no going back, but you're either staying where you are or you are going forward and you are gaining regardless either you are gaining your like success which you wanted which is the thing that you wanted to do to get the result that you wanted or you are gaining knowledge so that you can do that thing better the next time you try but yeah stand up go do what you want to do nobody's going to wait for you nobody's going to push you you have to push yourself and i hope that you do really awesome things i'm rooting for you I have books and some courses, um, but I'd like to talk about my books. Um, I would like to talk about the two and a half books. Uh, so the first one was in 2021, um, called Engineering for Beginners. That was like my very first book that I ever wrote. And I wanted to just teach the concepts of the cloud in a very easy and digestible way to anyone that wanted to learn about it. 
and that book has helped some people realize that okay it's gonna be nice to be a cloud engineer that that book has helped people start their cloud engineering careers as well so i'm very happy that i wrote that book at the time that i wrote it um, the second book just got released recently it's called um, beginning azure devops so it's also a cloud devops kind of book but this time it's about the azure devops ecosystem you know and we're talking about how to like build plan deploy applications test your apps all of that in that tool so it's a bigger book a really big book actually it's like a textbook and the first time i held it in my hand i was like oh my goodness i actually did this and then the half book is a study guide that i wrote um it's called a handy devops roadmap and study guide and i call it a half book because it's like i don't know 60 something pages so i don't think it's like a book and um when i wrote it i was just trying to write like content for people to start their you know devops journey you know questions and like there are too many frequently asked questions so i answered them in the book there are too many like things like okay where do i start from so it's like a step by step this is the step that you follow this is the guide that you follow if you're trying to build a devops career these are things that you can watch these are courses that you can take things like that so it's just like a one-stop shop for a devops beginner and you know you can find like other parts in devops and you can you know find ways to navigate those parts so i don't call it a book because i i wasn't writing a book when i wrote that i was just like writing a pdf and then somehow i put it on the internet and a bunch of people are calling it a book so i don't know i still i call it half so that you know i don't piss the people that are calling it a book off but i don't fully regard it as a book so those are like the three things yeah the two and a half things <laughs> Well, I'm all, I feel like I'm only a DJ in December. So last year, DJing went well. <laughs> January as well, DJing went well. But I haven't touched my controller since like second week of January. Um, it's a hobby. It's something I enjoy to do because I really love music. I don't want to make it a full-time job. Like I've made the rest of all these things. Because I feel like if I do, I wouldn't like it as much because it would become demanding and become stressful. So I do it when I feel like when, you know, I think it's interesting um, or when like, you know, maybe there's a party. I'm like, oh, I want to DJ here. I like to DJ here. And then I'll just go pick it up. It's going well. I've DJed at, I mean, it started, I've been DJing since I was in just three in secondary school. But I told the public I was a DJ during um, the COVID lockdown in 2020. And since things opened up after that, I've been playing in lounges. I've been, you know, I've gone to different places to play. I've played at a club once. So it's, it's been amazing. Yeah, there's a very, there's a very interesting one. Just be on the lookout towards the end of this year or early next year, I would make an announcement um and other things as well because i'm constantly having ideas that's the funny thing we're creators so we constantly think of things and we go create them so i might not have apart from the project that i don't want to say the name right now that i know is coming up there are other things that might come up you know media and i'll go execute and then come back and announce them so just pay attention and we'll see how that goes Hi, my name is Adora and this is Sellers Creator Stories.